All right, Henry. We're changing it up. You got to do the intro this time. I know it's a lot of pressure, but I think you can handle this. All right, all right. Oh, wait, I forgot I got to be on camera. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here, wait, come over here, come over here. Forget that skeleton. Okay, okay. Now, uh, when you're ready, just come through the door. Okay, we just had the most uh, wild random events. I can't really explain, but moral of the story, Henry died. Uh, so but after technical difficulties, now you can intro. So when you're ready, come through the door. All right. This too scary. All right, try again. Try again. Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Survival Renovation. Okay, series. okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I saw you in the window. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We got to get to the episode. We got to get to the episode. Okay. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, back here with another episode. Today, we're going to be working on these houses. Um, so You're going to be deconstructing yours? <laughs> yeah, I'm deconstructing mine because I kind of messed it up, and it kind of looks ugly. Or, I mean, right now, it's not even really a house. It's kind of gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gazebo. And Nate's over here with a, I don't even know, it doesn't have a roof. Um, <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. But, so, we're just going to be working on the houses today, and who knows what. Yep, yep. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, but, um, so yeah, I did a little bit of off-camera work. I got I got the pathway. Uh, there's a door. There's flooring. But the main structure is pretty much the same, besides these little columns around this section of the house. Because, we'll get into that in a second, because there's a, there's a plan with that. And uh, and then Henry, when he was working on his house, he actually basically got it finished. <laughs> and then he said, you know, we need perfection. So so he's, he's doing some remodeling. Yeah. I'm, uh, I might deconstruct it again. Maybe a couple more times. Who knows? Try whatever, and error. Whatever it takes to get perfection. Oh, yeah. But, um, so yeah, my plan for, uh, my plan for this house is there's going to be a little A-frame style right here on this end. And then on this end, there's going to be a one block bump out, which I feel like I mentioned before, but I'm not completely sure. A one block bump out, which goes up, and there'll be a second story on this side, but not on this part. And on this side, after that, uh, that little bump up or bump out there'll be a a-frame roof on top of that and i think it'll look really good so we'll just we'll just have to see but i think this house will actually have a decent amount of space for like the, the uh plot that it's taking up yeah the houses aren't supposed to be the main focus it's supposed to be like the farm and whatnot yeah that's true and then i'm also considering a deck that goes into the pond out here but that, that will be something for after the house is pretty much complete. So I'm thinking if I put some stairs right here. Actually, let's do that a little differently. Because I want to I wanna initiate the bump out. <laughs> ah. Oh. So. God, I can't place these stairs for anything right now. So. I'm a hope. I think that will look good, yeah. So then we'll just come around and symmetrically do this throughout the whole thing. Okay, so now that we got our stairs there, we need to grab some scaffolding. And I'll put it on this. Well, hmm. Yeah, we'll put it on this corner. Oh, and there is one other thing I forgot. We need to put upside down stairs on each of these corners as well. Okay. So, now I'm going to climb back up here. And it's, I like building buildings like this because you can kind of put, like with logs, you can kind of, it's almost like real life. I mean, take that lightly. But you can put like direction with them. So it looks like support beams and whatnot. So, I'm going to build up 
Let's see, how many is that? Three? All I heard you say was that this is real life. (laughs) 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 Uh, Actually, we're going to do three for now, because I'm not really sure what that fourth block is going to entail. So from there, we're going to go around and do this on every corner. Alright, so now that I've got this bump out, I'm going to come back and where these stairs are on top of them, I'm going to line a log across like this. I am really hoping that I don't have to get more spruce, but every time I say that, I always have to get more spruce. Okay, so now we got to do this all around as well, except... hmm not on this side because it will be a slight bit different so we'll do a little placeholder (laughs) well actually (laughs) just because now that I no no no. okay for now just put three blocks if you're building along or whatever you're doing just put three blocks right there because We'll get back to that. That's kind of one of the, that's, well. That's kind of one of those things that you don't really know how it's going to end up until you've completed it. And no, I've never built this before, so I'm just kind of working off of. Uh, I I don't know what the word is, but I'm just going for it. Your own imagination. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right here, I skipped this little block because the fireplace comes up here. And uh, that's another one of those things that's going to happen after the fact. So we just let that be. So now that we've got our log framing done, we want to we wanna craft some planks. With these planks, we'll tower up the same way we did with these logs, just right here. And it'll kind of leave this gap. You can fill it or whatnot, but I'm not going to fill it just so I don't waste materials. Okay, so now that we got those pillars in place, we want to line the bottom with the uh, the planks. So I'm going to quickly place down a floor. Um, you want the floor to be at this log level right here, because uh, this will be the window seal. And then we want a one block above just for extra space down. What is that? What in the world is happening here? Oh, oh, it's a particle from the bird. And I'm just going for stone on the floor. Alright, so now I've gotten all this, these planks laid down. Ooh. And I'm going to go ahead and add a window seal there and there. So this will be a window between these two blocks. Same with over here. And I'm going to split this into two windows and the same with this side now I've decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and lay planks in place of these logs and I'm also gonna just build up this whole wall because there's gonna be no windows on this side okay so let's get a little look at how this is going oh yeah this is looking nice oh I never got my arrow what the frick was that? I was swimming. Do you not take Minecraft that seriously? okay it didn't have any treasure (laughs) all right um okay so now we can we can build up one more on everything so every block that's placed here besides the window seals we can build up one more there are so many like mobs in the lake over here all right i am just now realizing that we actually need to build up two instead of one okay so after you built up two blocks on all sides come through and just cover the windows at two blocks high so this block two blocks 
and do that except for the chimney area. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in glass here. Um, I'm using white stained glass. I feel like it gives a good contrast. And for anybody who may be um, just tuning into the series, um, this is a survival series that me and my friend Henry have been doing. And we just finished the town center over here. And we're actually expanding out here to a smaller wall area. I don't know if you can see that over there. But, and that goes all the way around to this other side. And this is going to be our farmland district. So that's why I'm making uh, this house over here. This is one of the farmhouses. <laughs> it's not much of a farmhouse because these are supposed to be small. <laughs> I mean, well, the thing is, is in Minecraft, you can't build small without it looking like terrible. That's true. So I, I feel like this should be kind of small. <laughs> Even though it's... It's bigger than, like... Some of the houses in there. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, there's only... There's not a ton of them. But the reason it's called Survival Renovation is because this base was actually a village right here. And we basically took it over and put a wall around it and turned it into a, a whole village. Or, wait, no. <laughs> it was a village. We're turning it into something better than a that. A kingdom. That's yeah, yeah. That's a good that, word for it. Yeah, that's... That's the way I was like. Because, like, it had, like, the basic villager houses and whatnot, and they all died, actually. We had to, uh, we had to go find another village and bring them all back here, because, um, let's see. Oh, wait, no, we didn't have to do that. We, um, we thought about doing that, but yeah. we realized it was, like, insanity, because the other villages were, like, 5,000 blocks away, and you have to do it with boat. So, uh, there's actually a way you can make villagers, kind of. Yeah. If you find a zombie villager and uh, give them this special potion, it, um, it'll turn them back to a regular villager. And so we did that, and then we just um, breeded them. So now we've got a full village in there, and hopefully this area will be full of people, too. For the most part, I mean... The population will be far less, and a lot of them will probably get killed by raids and stuff, but the ones in there are the ones that uh, that matter. Out here, we can literally put beds under the ground if we just want villagers to like keep making other villagers. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, after we've got the windows fully enclosed, you want to come over here and you want to lay log, a, like a log beam from one corner to the other. So it should look like this from the outside. It should fully be surrounded in log. And for the fireplace area over here, I went ahead and I um, put, the, put the logs across because the fireplace only occupies this little space right here. Okay, so we're gonna come back to that, um, we're gonna come back to the roof in a minute. But first, before we do that, we need to make some half slabs of spruce. And once you have your half slabs, where we put these stairs earlier, we're going to we're going to put a layer of half slabs that bump out to the same uh, block as these logs on top. So, once we do that, it should look something like this. And we'll go ahead and do that all the way around. And for the fireplace section, go ahead and uh, go around that as well. Um, so once you all finish that all the way around, it it will look like a weird modern house. But it, once we put the roof on, it's not going to stay like that. And we have some other details that we'll be putting on. So, uh, so don't give up on me yet. <laughs> I've already given up. <laughs> okay, so make some uh, spruce fences. And once you have your spruce fences, build up to the middle layer. Okay, and right here on the outside against the log, stack the fences all the way to the top. So it should look something like this. And go ahead and do that on every side as well. Alright, and also while I was up um, on each of the sides placing the fences, I went ahead and put a trap door between the, uh, the two windows, or two trap doors between the windows. And we'll do nothing with trap doors on this 
this one side with no windows. Okay, so now we're going to start on the roof for this small section, because right now it looks very unproportional to the main uh, building. To do this, we want to climb up on top, and one block from the wall, I'm going to stick a, a layer of logs. And these logs are going to, on the front, bump out one extra. So it should look something like this. And from here, just come down to the bottom, and you should be able to reach up to the top and put a layer of logs like this. So two of the ends should be showing, but then the front should be kind of enclosed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up three in the middle. Like so. From here we want to get more spruce planks. And we want to build a little triangle. So I'm just going to use, I'm just, I'm not going to put any blocks here because this won't be seen and I don't want any wood to go to waste because I'm not working with much right now. And by uh, by triangle, I mean basically this little shape on oh, this little shape on both sides. So you'll have three stairs basically. And I went ahead and replaced the middle block under this uh, pillar right here to uh, a chiseled stone piece because I think it ties it in together. And I might go and change these depending on how it looks once the roof is finished. Alright, so now we can begin placing our stairs. So I put um, one layer, our first layer of stairs on the edge of this log and brought it out one past the front. And on the front, I just did an upside down stair. And we just want to basically carry this all the way to the top. And once you've made it to the top, place an upside down stair right there in the middle block and put a spruce half slab oops, <laughs> spruce half slab on top of that stair so it should look well the scaffolding's kind of blocking it but it should look something like this all right now place a log facing straight down under our end log and do this on both sides it'll give a shape like this and once you've done that, come above each one of these windows and put an upside down stair like so. And get a half slab and fill in the middle with that half slab. So it should look like this. Alright, now find this little corner right here uh, between the two logs. And we want to place a stair facing that log on both sides. And this is what I meant by that. Just a, a stair right there to add add some more texture to the middle. Alright, now you're ready to fill in the upside down stairs all the way back to those spruce planks we placed back there. Now that you've done that, it should look something like this. Alright, so I had, I had actually just run out of wood, so I just uh, came back from a uh, little logging trip over from that new... Uh, um, redwood, taiga forest, whatever you call them, taiga. with the with with the big uh, with the big spruce trees. I came from there. That's the best way to get spruce wood for sure. Um, so now I can continue where we were. So the next step is to uh, just layer stairs across this little roof right here until they hit that wall. Alright, so now after uh, doing all those stairs, I'm just going to go ahead and put a, uh, a line of spruce slabs to top this little roof off. And now we're done with that section of the roof. Alright, so now we're going to move to the tall section of this house. To begin the roof, we are going to grab our logs and... We want to place a log on this corner facing, oops, we want to do it facing outwards. And we want to do the same thing on this left corner. 
And now you want to do the exact opposite on your other side. Okay, now I'm going to find the middle point of this log, which is actually where I put my scaffolding. And right here, I'm going to do the, th the same thing we did on the last roof section and put one of these uh, chiseled stone brick or stone, I don't know what these are, chiseled stone blocks. And that is going to be where we make our pillars for the roof. And to make the pillar, we're just going to uh, go up like five. And that might be a little too tall, but we'll we'll see in a second. Alright, so now what I'm going to do to see if this is the right height is I'm going to place uh, stone brick stairs on the side and then come out one. And now I'm just going to go back and forth between an upside down stair, a right side up stair, an upside down stair, and just until we get to the, t the, the middle or the top of this pole. Alright, so I got here and uh, I actually already removed the uh, the block on this tower, but it was one too high. So you can leave the block that was there, but I'm just going to replace it with a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a plank, just to save resources. Now I'm going to put an upside down stair at the top, and then I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And then make sure you cap off the top with a uh, stone brick half slab. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Ooh, levels. <laughs> I hate those freaking birds. It killed you? Yeah, it knocked me off. Were you that low health? I had like four hearts. Oh. And it knocked me off. And I had a totem of undying on me. It knocked me off and then hit me again. That oh, wait, wait, no. Sucks. No, it hit me. And then I had one heart and then it fell. Oh, wait, so it took your totem of undying? Or? Yeah. It took my totem of undying when it hit me. And then as I was falling, I went, oh, crap. And then died. <laughs> Rick. Okay, so now that I've gotten back and collected all my stuff again I'm just gonna I'm gonna replicate this on that side and I'm also gonna make stone bricks all the way around the edge because this is gonna be our outline for our roof our roof is actually gonna be a different it's gonna be spruce stairs but we're just gonna do this on the outside because it looks really nice come here come here come at me huh oh who's the wimp now all right <laughs> come on come on Yep, catch on fire. You know one hit with this sword is going to kill you. Three of them come out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have uh, the whole outline laid out, I'm, uh, I'm going to start putting the inside of these triangles on, as well as layering all these steps for the roof. But um, So basically to put the roof on this section, we're going to do it a slight, uh, like a tad bit different. We're gonna put a um, a block on a spruce block, a spruce planks block on every upside down stair. Then we're gonna come in and get our spruce stairs and put upside down spruce stairs on each block we just placed. And this gives a nice two uh, like three dimensional kind of texture to it. Um, and now we'll put three-dimensional texture what I mean is um, it gives like this two roof kind of effect and this actually looks like really cool which you'll see in a second okay so this is what I was talking about see how there's two layers of stairs right here on the roof uh, when did a creeper blow up the side of my house Er, it must have been after you placed your glass but that's really weird for a creeper to blow up after you placed your glass Cause like how would well it actually no no, no. I, I placed my glass a long time ago. Well, I was thinking how would it register that you're there if you're like completely inside? Oh of yeah, that? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause I I didn't get blown up by a creeper out here. And to finish off this whole build, I'm going to just line uh, stone brick slabs across the very top. 
Oh, oh, I got so lucky right there. Um, so besides fixing this little creeper mistake right here, which I still don't know how that happened, this place is done. I think it turned out really well. All right, so since I'm finished with my build, let's see what Henry's been doing. I went to go get some spruce wood. I'm so you can do a quick tour by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just, uh, we'll just wait till you come back. All right. I'll just do an overview of, actually, we'll, we'll build the staircase really quick. Okay, so I decided the staircase should go in this front little foyer area, uh, starting here, um, two blocks away from, I guess, this front wall. And I feel like this is the most efficient place for this. You can make this one block wide. It's all up to you, but... I'm personally a fan of two block wide staircases. They just seem much more spacious. And I feel like we have the room for it. So um, that would be what I recommend. And um, so what I'd say from here is just uh, follow it with upside down stairs, um, normal stairs, and so on. All right, so earlier in the build, I covered up this little uh, gap in the roof kind of an attic area and now I'm thinking with this staircase right here this is a perfect location for a, a little loft kind of style so what I'm actually gonna do is tear down this wall well tear down the wall where it's under this roof and same with this little uh, this layer of stone and make this like a little loft uh, with the staircase okay so I just finished this staircase um, and this is the little loft I was talking about so you can just walk right up and now we're on the second floor ignore the ceilings because none of the interior is done um, that will be in the next episode so if y'all want to see that uh, stay tuned for that and just uh, swipe on to the next video but for now let's get to this chimney alright so I'm just gonna start by Towering up the existing chimney all the way to the roof line. From here, I'll just eyeball where it was. Um, I think it was here. Yep. And just continue it. I ran out of bone mill. Now, here, I'm actually going to change it just a tad. God, there's so many Endermen. Sir, I'm trying to make a tutorial over you. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, wide it now by one block. And uh, build this up. Let's see. We'll build it up two more than what it already is. Actually, remove, remove that layer. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to run down and get some. Oh, wait, I have some. Cool. Now I'm just going to grab these stairs and I'll start just by placing one like that and then for the rest of them just make them all upside down and it will look exactly like a chimney. You know looking at it now it looks a little weird so I'm just going to come in the bottom right here and build up three, three and place a stair in this little uh, spot so now it gives it some more uh, depth and texture to it and I'm, I'm gonna do a slight adjustment I'm gonna mine like three blo three blocks out on the bottom part and put certain types of stairs and this allows us to just have this little missing brick kind of texture and I'm actually gonna go do that up high too but I won't I won't do it at the very top just because I don't feel like that is necessary on second thought that's necessary <laughs> alright so now the texture is done all the way to the top and I think this wraps up the uh, the build we have 
uh, well, a complete outside at least. And I did mention how I might add a porch to the back. I definitely need to fix this creeper hole. But um, if I do that, that will be in the next episode. Because in the next episode, we're going to be, uh, like I said earlier, um, furnishing the inside of this build. Um, and getting this thing looking nice on the inside. Because there is a lot of room to work with um, compared to the buildings in our city that we did. So, um, Henry, uh, give us all a little right, update. I'll show you the real crib. What you just we got, saw. We got a block missing. Hold on. <laughs> S slight uh, delay. Hold up. All right, continue, continue. All right, MTV cribs. So all I've done so far is the entrance. But got two trees. It's clean. You come in. You got a table. Your workstation. Workstation. With your, with your uh, you know little shelves that don't have anything on them yeah and then a table over here real fancy real fancy I know I know and then um, sleep 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 sleep, I sleep. See. oh is that a is that a couch outside I see oh there's two couches outside oh yeah you can so watch the Enderman you can sit over the there and I'll sit over here all right, all right but don't make eye contact with the Enderman uh Where'd he go? I'm trying to uh, look at him. <laughs> you must have made eye contact. <laughs> okay, there's there's quite a few zombies over there. But I'm safe on my porch. Yeah, that's why we stay on the porch. Shoot, there's one, two, three, four. All crowded. What does this look like from the outside? Without telling these creepers where I am. Oh, crap. I gotta run. <laughs> go over here. I see playing with fire dude that thing got so close to exploding on you oh I just got hit from behind and he blew oh two creepers <laughs> these creepers I've never seen this many creepers spawn in like an area what like is we it? we've had probably like seven creeper explosions happen since we've been building out here. We don't even freaking need to have a spawn, like, uh, your looting system. You just need to come out here with, like, a looting three sword. And you'll Very have, like, true. a stack of 64 in no time. I'm going to repair this next episode. Because oh, I really don't feel like repairing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> God, I just knocked that creeper so far away. Um, alright, well, I think that concludes this episode. Uh, we have a nice two farmhouses out here now and uh these will both be actually that one's already furnished but that will have full uh what's the word i'm looking for agriculture <laughs> on the outside <laughs> yes and so will this one um so go watch the next episode <laughs> plug right now yep do it and uh we'll see you there so uh i hope you all enjoyed I know this wasn't the most clear tutorial, but I was kind of just working with uh, my imagination when it came to this. But, uh, but yeah, um, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.